Hello everybody, Veronica Ray here to do your weekly tarot reading. Aquarius, how are you guys? So this is the deck I will be using for your main spread. Link in the description. Please click the Amazon shop, then click feature tarot decks, okay? All right, what do my Aquarians need to know for the entire week? Remember, it's information you need to know for this week. It might take weeks or months to resonate in some of you. It may have already occurred. So if it does resonate, drop me a purple heart and a comment and let's get started, okay? What do my Aquarians need to know? We have the Ace of Cups. It is in reverse, okay? Your central issue. Recent history, the Seven of Pentacles. Near future, the Hermit. Interesting, okay? Your foundation, the Five of Cups in reverse and what is crowning you the five of pentacles in reverse okay cool wow okay so let's start i want to start with the past we're going to go with the seven of pentacles this is a slow growing situation earth sign energy which we have three earth signs popping out today this is strong virgo virgo season okay this can also be capricorn or taurus but these two are in alignment, so we're going to go with very strong Virgo or Taurus right now. Capricorn is not as strong for you, however it is there. So it's not for the majority, but if you are dealing with a Capricorn, it's okay. Slow growing situation in the recent history, so if this was money to be saved, business, um, growth, or any kind of growth in your career, could be physical growth like <laughs> your children, you know. The foundation, the five of cups in reverse, this is about forgiveness. Someone wants forgiveness. They could be a water sign or an earth sign because I don't have any other energy coming through for the week. So by the end of the week, someone or you may be wanting to apologize for taking so long. That is what I'm getting. Okay, so some of you guys have been extremely patient in terms of your business, your career, hearing back from somebody, or in fact, just trying to get back together with someone, friend, family member, lover, ex. Uh, this looks like a failed attempt at a reconciliation, maybe in the last seven months, seven weeks, seven days. I don't think seven years, but you never know. It could have been seven years ago that someone tried to reconcile and it failed. Okay, someone tried to reconcile and it failed. I do get that. Um, someone could be in the near future, you or them, going into sort of like their own cocoon, going within to really think about things. I'm hearing the word drama, kind of like to get away from drama. Things have been dramatic and you no longer want that. The Five of Pentacles reverse is someone that is, well, hmm. This is a 12, this resonates as a three. So if you were having money trouble, we have odd numbers, two fives, that does not equal a 10, okay? I didn't pull a 10, but it's like being stuck in a process where you're trying to make more money or they are. Specifically a Virgo coming through or maybe a water sign at the center, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's a reversal. So this is six cups technically in reverse. So whatever happened in the past there was a failure failure to launch in the past and then someone's still single or someone if that's love if it's business someone is still on their own they have decided not to partner with people that could be what you're waiting on because if you're waiting on somebody to come back in love they'd rather be single or they or you are the single one okay let me uh, clarify this i'm gonna go ahead and use my sabilas okay let's see what the seven of pentacles is it's that hurry up and wait card and then you're building 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 you're waiting for the crops to ripen so you can pick but you can't pick yet because you're only at a seven we need a ten of pentacles which if you look at the november 7th reading you will find that there is going to be um a very similar energy that was pulled. Speranza, this is your waiting. Um, this is also kind of like when there's Leo in here too. So as a clarifier, someone could have been waiting on you or you them and there's strong Leo energy here. 
<clears throat> Taurus, sorry. Let me see the Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, there's a bunch of people involved in your life. This could be your love life, your career. You could be in love with someone at work. You could be speaking about something and it's lack of growth or the lack of reconciliation to too many people. See, the Seven of Pentacles could also indicate co-workers or too many people, too many cooks spoiling the broth. It's taking a village to get you where you need to go only to end up by yourself. Listen to what I just said for some of you. Okay. Let me look at you trying to get your money back for something. Some of you guys overspent. You're waiting for money to come through. Some of you guys are watching someone or being watched. By an earth sign, a water sign, or a Leo. Strong earth. Someone's watching your money. Someone's watching your growth. Someone's watching the way you spend your money. Hmm. There's a very strong Virgo here, okay? Or a sage, like someone who has been around the block. That could be you. If you have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, in general, especially like a rising, I would say that's how people view you. Or if you're a Taurus, or if you're a water sign rising, okay? Five of Cups reverses that, I'm sorry. Three energies right here. So too many cooks spoiling the broth. Someone put you in a third party situation, whether it was platonic or romantic or a third party infiltrator on an emotional level and they're fucking sorry. Or they were consulting someone behind your back and they're fucking sorry. Or they were having fun flirting with someone, they're sorry. Or maybe they were flirting with you and you didn't know you were a third party, they're sorry. And they're a water sign. I think maybe if the water sign feels like a victim, they're gonna see that you had no idea. And then they're gonna be fucking sorry, that's it. Someone's gonna make them sorry though. I kinda got this idea that with this, hold on. <laughs> um, with this group energy here, I think there's been some research being done. Someone was watching someone and they figured out that they're not the person they thought they were in a negative way. This could be a group of friendship reconciling behind someone's back. The hermit, keep into yourself. Ooh, morte. This is death, like the death card, but if you look, there's a smoking gun there. There's a warning that there's gonna be an ending, a transformation, a change. Someone was warned of this. You see what I mean? Okay, let me clarify that. Um, but they kept, that whoever got the information kept it to themselves and did not warn anybody else. The letterado. This is um, like your poet. It could also be like an attorney too. The researcher. This is also going to be um, someone that does public speaking or whatever. But they also have information. See, this is the guy with the information. This is like highlighting the information, but going within. If it were like this, it would be, we're gonna tell the world, you know? That's not happening. Remember, this is for the week. Okay, I'm gonna go about it in a different way. For that spread, let's see which zodiacs we're dealing with. We already pulled very strong earth and water. So for that spread, who's Aquarius dealing with for the week? Capricorn, now it comes out. Capricorn, Aquarius, you or another Aquarian or Scorpio, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, and out of this two are fixed signs, so there's gonna be some stubbornness this week. There's gonna be decisions that are finalized this week, okay? All right, cool. Someone wants to quit, I just think they're very emotional, and they're like, fuck this shit, I am done, I can't do this anymore. That's what I'm getting. Let's look at your next step with the Witch's Tarot deck. I love this deck. It's one of my favorite decks. And of course, check that Amazon shop, <laughs> All right, here we go. Next step for Aquarians this week, for the entire week. Two of Wands, a big choice. Here we go. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, strong Aries. So someone is going to help you make a decision. You know what you want to do, but you have to put your foot forward. You have to do something physical. Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles, it showed up reversed for me. 
the karma in reverse. Okay, karma is judgment in reverse. <sighs> someone didn't learn their lesson. This is a single person. So you or someone you know, strong Virgo, strong Aries, possible Leo or Sagittarius. This is someone who's taking a huge pay cut or a loss. Um, that might be a mistake, like they made this choice. Let me see the foundation, or you will. Nine of Sword Reaver, someone wants to get out of this nightmarish situation. See, this is bad karma. Someone believes they have bad karma, or someone believes that someone needs to earn their right back into the fold. The fold for money, the fold for a physical move. This is distance. If you look, he's looking into the distance. This fire sign is, the Virgo is, this is Gemini now. Someone wants to make something right because they believe they have bad karma with you, Aquarius. They're gonna make something right. That's what I keep getting. Very strong Gemini, possible Libra, another Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Virgo. What's crowning? This is the next step. Mm, I have the fool. So there's your new beginning. It's like busting out. And I have a couple more. The queen of wands. I told you fire. Okay. That's a feminine energy. Probably a female. And look, the masculine. All right. We've got a duo here. This is either work-related, family-related, marriage in terms of love. This could also be same-sex partnerships. Okay. Because the king is reversed. So I would say it's two women. Um, Aries is showing up first and Aries came out with this as well. So we have a very strong Aries, but again, could be platonic. It doesn't matter, but generally let's talk about the queen of wands. She's your beauty queen. She's beautiful. She's vibrant. She's creative. She's in good health. She's attractive in all areas. So not just physically mind, body, spirit, right? Then you got this dick. You got this dick. <laughs> um, the King of Wands reversed is someone who's not real nice. He could also be a physical abuser. This could, like a wife beater. I hate to say it, but it is possible because someone's trying to flee. Look at that. They're trying to woo woo. Get me the fucking hell out of here. Uh, someone got abused by this man. This man is going to be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Virgo or fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Generally, the king shows up for me as Leo first. Now, this could also be someone who's been abused by another man. So, and it would be um, probably verbal or mental, like a mind fuckery thing, or they're a mind fucker. So there's someone that plays mind games or gaslighter. But two people are together, and the masculine figure is not in the upright, which means that they're creating, um, poor judgment is creating a nightmare scenario for them if they're not careful. find it interesting, like my nails <laughs> and this. Blue is, for me is healing, purple is psychic, and then the warm tones for me is like growth. Not just green for growth, but like physical energy. So some of you guys, you're, you're latching on to a woman and she's fine. You're trying to get away from this male. Or this woman is outshining her husband or her business partner. Interesting. Okay, there's there's a bunch of stories in your next step. So let me see the karma card in reverse. That means your head straight up your ass. You're not hearing the call to action. Or the man isn't. The masculine is not hearing the call to action. The two of pentacles is reversed also. No more juggling. So if there was a third party situation, platonic or romantic, they're not doing that anymore. Look at that. Mm, God dang. We have two nines here. So that kind of indicates we're at the end of a cycle. Mentally, communicatively, or financially. <clears throat> okay, I just got choked up. That's not a negative, that's a positive. Someone is taking a pay cut to free themselves, freedom. And an ace of wands is like, look at the butterfly right there in reverse. The sun is trying to show where you're supposed to go. And let's see, this will be three wands. And because 
the one wand is in reverse. We're waiting on a ship. We're waiting on some messages. We're waiting on someone to say or do something to help reverse this. What we consider to be negative karma doesn't mean it is negative karma. It's what's in someone's head. Three of Pentacles, this is people that work together, whether it's within the family structure and the Eight of Cups reversed as a clarifier. Um, emotionally, in, the inability to emotionally let go of a situation. Sorry, it was upright. This is Capricorn energy. So with that being said, the overall space is that you're dealing with people, a masculine that is kind of not getting it. They're not understanding why this is happening to me. I'm going to say this out loud. I'm going to do this. Everything happens for a reason. That is someone saying that to me to say to you. So if you don't understand, it's like someone else, a human being, not God, not universe. A human had a purpose, which is temporary, to try and reverse this and turn it like this. For a man, due to this, this could be love. This could be um, a female making a judgment call, a mother figure, a friend. You know how that works. Now, with the second group of Aquarians for the next step, who are we dealing with the most? I saw a lot of fire there, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So who in that group is Aquarius dealing with for this week? Again, with the Capricorn, which came out with the three of Pentacles. Scorpio again. And Leo this time. So Leo, Capricorn, and Scorpio are going to play a role in your next step. I feel like it's an acceptance thing. Like with the judgment card in reverse, you have to accept that this is the way things are, okay? So Divine Mystic Oracle, this is my deck. I will leave the link in the description if you are interested in purchasing it. It's a small deck and it's to the point, so... As a clarifier for the next step, what do my beautiful Aquarius need to know for this week? Remember, it's for the entire week. As an overall energy, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, check my dailies that I have Monday through Friday, okay? Lord and Master, which is very similar to like an emperor, okay? A father figure. And notice the fuchsia and the purple. That is definitely higher register six chakra energies the player so someone who was considered to be a player or someone who is not serious someone who is a mind fucker and finally mature love this is not just about old people it's about being in love with someone for a very long time the lord and master could be coming to remove the player from your life and to show you who you deserve to be with and it could be someone that's loved you for a long time. And yes, because of the Lord and Master, it can actually be an older gentleman. And um, this could be male or female. But generally in this deck, I do have another feminine card similar to this. So we'll say younger man versus the older man. And both may have loved you for a long time if it's love. Bottom of the deck, we have the spiritual warrior, which for me is like a queen of swords vibe. This is someone who says and does the right thing no matter what. They also have very strong standards. They don't buckle based on temptation. Okay, let's check out your energy Aquarius for the week. This is generally not for a cross watcher. This is going to be the Aquarian energy. Sun, moon, rising. And I only say sun, moon, rising because those are the major placements that people pay attention to. Victim, green for growth. Joy, third chakra, yellow. And balance, it's purple. It's kind of, it looks more purple in person, but it's like an indigo, which is like a healing and a psychic vibe. But if you look at this balanced energy, you could be the balanced one and other people are disgruntled or you're dealing with a Libra and people don't like that. Someone is not happy that you're dealing with this guy or girl. Um, someone's being a victim to the fact that you are truly balanced and growing and prospering and being joyful. And, and by the way, last week, you might want to check the readings for the last week of October 2022. Joy came out in the last couple of readings. You're, you're here for it, Aquarius. All these things, this victimhood is going away or someone who plays the victim all the time, they're being scooped up and taken out, not in a negative sense. 
All right, so I am gonna look at people who are separated in love, no matter what your station, no matter what's going on in your world. Please show me what they want to say to Aquarius. People in separation. Now, if you're not in separation, but you're wondering what your partner thinks and feels, this could still resonate. All right, we have palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Okay, this is the palm tree. Also indicates an area where they have them. So that's where they are. The sword in the, in the rose, I almost said the sword in the stone. <laughs> um, the sword in the rose, okay. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. This indicates um, government. This indicates, <clears throat> wow, frog throat. Excuse me, this indicates someone who's protecting you. This indicates someone with military background. They could be older and retired or whatever. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> Final card. <laughs> Final card for Aquarius. What do they want to say to Aquarius? Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted uplifted and friendship so this person is you got a friend protecting you and it looks really solid so if your friend is at a distance to you they may not be telling you everything just to protect you and I feel like that was important I itched on that um, with the palm tree and the sword this is definitely an air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini you could be protecting yourself or protecting someone else by just keeping it friends only some of you are friend zoning somebody or they're friend zoning you, but it is for your protection. That's what I'm getting. Okay, men and women, love advice. Men first, okay? So what do my Aquarian men need to know for their love lives? For the week, whether you're single or couple, doesn't matter. We have engagement. You're, you got this last time, I think. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So if you're already seeing someone, you could be getting literally engaged to be married or you're engaging with someone new and your love life is completely changing. It's different than what you're used to. Um, it's gonna be a weird meeting. That's all I'm getting. It's not normal. It's not like someone introduced you, you're going on a dating site, nothing normal. Yes, dating sites are normal now or apps or whatever you got. Ladies. What do we have for Aquarian women for their love lives? We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So if you have somebody, fine. If you're single, you're probably not putting yourself out there this week. Maybe you need to recalibrate your energy. And if that's the case, good luck to you. Now let's see what's hidden that we don't know. Tarot of Divine Secrets by myself. Link will be in the description as well as the comments. What do my Aquarians need to know that needs to be revealed at this time? Ooh, we keep getting it, the Fool, Aries. Aries could be super important for you. This could also be the Aquarian energy. Um, I made him look a little pensive, right? He's really contemplating his next move. He doesn't wanna make a foolish move, especially in the upright. In the reverse, he's just gonna take off and not give a fuck. Um, but here we give a fuck, okay? Could also be that there's an Aries out there that gives a fuck about you. Seven of coins in reverse at the bottom of the deck, which kind of indicates winter. Well, it does indicate winter. We have Capricorn energy. We have Taurus, Virgo. Um, this could also be just a slow growing situation. And um, you're taking a chance at putting your money into something or investing. So listen, it was a good reading. Thank you guys so much for being here and for supporting Intuitive Aquarius Tarot. If you would like to further support the channel, please click the join button and join one of the tiers. If you want the extra readings that come out on Wednesdays, click the Premier or the Elite tiers, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.